You cannot be fragile and feeling sorry for yourself and want to build a muscular physique. I'm not going to lie to you. It is not easy. You have to work hard every day. Stop playing. Focus on your goals. Have a routine. No one is coming to save you. Save yourself. What's up guys? It's Andy over here coming back to you with another video. Today, I'm going to give you the ultimate guide to building a perfect physique. Step number one, you have to have the dedication, mentality, and consistency in this journey. Before you start watching this video, I want you to set your mind and know it's, it will have to take a lot of work and a lot of time before you build the perfect physique. Dieting. You have to go on a caloric surplus. But if you're fat, you can be thin but still have fat. What does that mean? We call them toffee. Toffee means thin outside, fat inside. So my advice is usually to first fix your metabolic system. Fix your gut. The gut is the pipe from your mouth till your anus. You do it by fasting. Just start it slowly. Don't go straight into it like doing a 24-hour fast or 48-hour fast. Start by eating two meals a day. Eliminate breakfast from your life. Breakfast is one of the most useless meals. Start eating from 12 p.m. Most of the things that you eat in your breakfast are usually sugary foods. So eliminate breakfast in your life forever. When you are able to do two meals a day, move on to one meal a day and eat that meal between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Have one meal for about, let's say, a month to fix your metabolism. After you're done with one month, you can go on a caloric surplus. I don't believe in dirty bulking. That is one of the most unhealthiest way of building muscle. You don't have to be fat to build muscle, but you have to go on a caloric surplus. So on this caloric surplus, you should increase your protein intake, carbohydrate intake, and fat intake. I want you to get this right. Carbohydrates is longevity. What you should focus on is on the complex carbs. We're talking about sweet potatoes, arrowroots, and potatoes. Then have protein in all your meals. So in a caloric surplus, you can have three to four meals a day. Your energy comes from your protein intake and fat intake. Eat a lot of fats. Eat a lot of coconut oil, extra virgin oil, and tallow. You have to be consistent on your diet. Consistency is key. You're not going anywhere without the consistency of eating. Water intake. You should take at least five liters a day. Now we move on to the lifting part. As you can see, pictures behind me, those are photos of me. I've really been able to build a proper physique and gain strength at the same time. That is what I usually advise to most of my clients. We, are, we want to do this for a lifetime. We want to be strong for a lifetime. And for you to be able to do that, you have to lift some heavy weights. In my program, what I call it is power bodybuilding. That is a combination of power lifting and bodybuilding. You are doing power lifting, but with the muscle mind connection of a bodybuilder. There are three lifts which I advise. That is the squat, bench, and deadlift. Those three lifts make your body release a lot of growth hormone and testosterone. This should be the lifts that you focus on as a beginner. Squat, bench, and deadlift. For the sets and reps, what I usually do is, this is a beginner's guide. Go do about 10 sets in each exercise. Let's say, for example, you're going to do your squats. Warm up with very lightweight, but each set increase weight. Focus on going for one rep on the heaviest set. For only one rep. That should be the goal every week after you hit the one rep then you can do your working sets which 
are all included in these 10 sets. So you can do 5 warm up sets, hit the top set and only do 4 working sets. For these working sets, you can do about 8 reps, 5 reps, 4 reps, do them for 3 sets, 5 sets, 4 sets. I hope you get what I'm saying. The same applies to deadlift and bench. As the strength increase, you will be able to build a perfect physique. Don't worry about the heavy set. The form might be sluggish a little bit, but you have to go heavy. That is a must. After you've hit your heavy set while doing your working sets, I want you to focus on muscle mind connection in the powerlifting move. Because power bodybuilding, as I have told you, includes of powerlifting and bodybuilding. It's doing the powerlifting movements with the mindset of a bodybuilder. I hope you get what I'm saying. A lot of guys right now are really advising people to train till failure. For me, I don't fatigue at all in any workout. Any day, I don't fatigue. And I don't take days off. Never fatigue. Because when you fatigue your muscle, you won't be able to go back and hit that muscle again in the same week. Do the most work with the least amount of effort. That is what I'm trying to say. Kill your workout, but with the least amount of effort. In today's age, recovery is overrated. You cannot recover from something that you have not even worked for. Go to the gym every day. Rest day is a fallacy. Kill it every day, seven days a week, go to the gym. But make sure every day you get in your eight hours sleep, get in your diet, and get in your water intake. That's the most important part. You cannot go to the gym three days a week and want to rest. That is not working. Go to the gym every day and focus on your meals and water intake and eight hours of sleep. Then you are valid for a rest day. After almost 21 weeks, even the best athletes in the world, people who go break world records, they only go for rest days after maybe 21 weeks. Don't be there going to the gym five days a week and claiming you need to rest. You're not working. You have to have a warrior's mindset. You're going to feel like you cannot do this anymore. Your body is going to get tired. Your joints are going to feel weak, but you have to be strong. Because men were born to fight. Nothing comes easy. You have to be strong. You have to be consistent every day. Go to the gym. Kill it two hours. If you need to go again, you can. You are allowed. Eat your meals. Don't miss your meals. Don't go out drinking with your friends. Take in your water intake. Wake up, drink water, take in your meal and go to the gym. If you have to go to school, go to school. Put in the work, bro. And that's it for today. Peace out.